Hello and welcome to episode 2 of I Will Cast Anything. We are here with another TVP. Remember what letter Protoss starts with. Again featuring my good buddy The Situation. Starting as the Terran in the top left. We are on Ohana here. Notice I actually know the name of the map this time. I'm getting better. Galax is our Protoss player down at the bottom right. He is sending out a very early scout here. Before he's even built his probe. Which, given how aggressive the situation was in the match I cast yesterday, it's probably a good idea. This match was played yesterday, by the way. Here is the situation going to build his first supply depot. And a proxy pylon comes down already, but I'm pretty sure that the situation is wise to Galax's moves here. He's going to chase off this probe, and he is going to send quite a few SCVs out here to deal with this relatively minor problem, but the cancel forces the cancel on the pylon, chases out more SCVs coming out. He's really worried about this pylon. Losing some minerals there. Another pylon going down. That's a that's a troll pylon there. That's not an intentional aggressive move. Galax meanwhile getting a proper pylon in his base. And a gateway coming down now. So that's a bit of early harass there. Situation probably not too pleased about that. It's gonna have just disrupted his timing a little bit, disrupted his build order a little bit. And finally he's gonna get his barracks down. And now we'll start to see how aggressive he's going to be. Chrono boosting out lots of probes here. He does have a slight disadvantage in the probe count early on here, Galax, due to his fannying about, shall we say, with unnecessary pylons. Taking two gas now. Barracks just finishing up. Has the situation done any scouting yet? paying attention. Yes, he has, so he knows what's going on. Are we going to see another cheeky pylon go down, or is this... No, I think this probe is just going to chill out for a little while. So, orbital command coming down, marines coming down, gas coming down, cyber core also coming down for Galax. Let's see what he plans to do with that here. After that early prodding. Both players just calming down now, settling in to the game. Galax looks like he's going to expand pretty soon. Reactor going down. Get some marines out early. And warp gate coming. So maybe he does plan. Oh no, he's moved his, uh, his pr probe away from there. Yep, expansion going down. Ah, Stalker coming out. I wonder if we might see some Blink Stalker play again. Pretty popular among the Protoss out there. You can tell that I'm new at this because I keep having to mouse up to see the tooltips for what the buildings are because I don't know them yet. Situation getting his factory. Not really going for uh, anything super early, early here, I don't think. But we'll have to wait and see. If he goes for that starport next instead of expanding... Nope, looks like the expansion is going to come here. Nope, wait, he's scouting. So maybe we could see the same one barracks, one factory, one starport push that we saw previously. But I think it's going to be tough. So I think Galax is looking better prepared. He's got some more tech buildings coming down. He's got a sentry coming out already to block off that one. He is going to do a little bit of scouting and harrying with his stalker here. But plenty of marines out now. Five marines out to just one stalker and one sentry, so more marines coming out all the time. Yes, I'm starting to wonder if that early push is coming again. We see siege tanks. We see the starport looking more and more like that same one base 
Banshee Tank Marine play. But unlike in that last game, Galax has got his expansion out, so he has got a slightly better economy going here. He could potentially build up a big enough army to fight this off, but at the moment he seems to be building his forces relatively slowly. Stalker taken down here. So we do have tanks out now. Plenty of marines. More coming all the time for the situation. No, still no expansion, so he's definitely committed here to this early push. More robotic space going down. Four gateways now for Galax. He's going to be able to pump out a lot of units. But he doesn't have enough army right now. He's only got sentries and an observer. He needs to warp in some more stalkers here, I think, if he's going to deal with this push that's going to be coming very soon. But he has been over there with his observer, so he's probably seen a lot of what was going on. He's seen the starport. He's seen that there's no expansion. And we see more pylons going down. And a Colossus, yes. This is a good move against all these Marines. But the Banshee, only one Banshee out at the moment, is going to be tough. So here's that same push we saw from the situation in the previous match. Let's see if he can be as effective. He will have been spotted by this probe at the Zalnaga Tower. So, Thermal Lance coming. The expansion is going up behind this push. Not many stalkers out here. This could be tough for Galax, but great force fields there. Just needs to watch out for this Banshee now. Yes, here's the kind of stalker numbers we need to see from Galax to hold this off. And I think he's going to do okay here. Yes, good force fields. He does lose a stalker. He's doing pretty well here. We see the situation has a significant supply lead, but many many more workers for Galax so if he can hold this off he'll be doing well but the Banshees are coming and chasing this Colossus he has to keep it alive very very important to preserve that expensive Colossus but plenty of stalkers now only a couple of sentries so oh, if these siege tanks can pick off a sentry see he's losing too many of his stalkers here when he moves forward like that it's a bit wasteful but another Colossus coming. Once Thermal Lance gets done, he might be able to push up with his Colossi and do some damage here. But he needs to deal with these Banshees. He needs to get maybe Blink so he can Blink under them. Take them out. The situation, meanwhile, he needs to drone up. He needs to build some more SEVs behind this. He can't just sit here on this contain forever. Because we've got two full mining bases for Galax. And just one lonely mule mining at the uh, natural. But look, we have the two Colossi now with the Thermal Lance. Oh, but one goes down! And it doesn't look like they were able to do significant damage here. Four tanks now, and they are sieging up here. Taking out this Nexus. Zealots go into tank, the shields go up. This time the Colossus is cutting through the Marines, but it goes down as well, and it still has these tanks. Not a scratch on them. More Colossi coming all the time, more stalkers walking in, but he's going to lose his natural expansion. Situation still not mining properly at his own natural. He's completely focused here on maintaining this pressure, maintaining this contain, wearing down Galax. See, the resources lost in units is a huge, huge disadvantage, so the situation is well placed here. We've got to see some sort of attempts to break out. Immortals coming to try and deal with these tanks. Twilight Cannon. I wonder what he's planning to do with that. These marines now pushing up into the base. No more colossi. They're all gone and doesn't have enough income without mining it as natural to build more. He's just got to keep pumping out Stalkers and the immortal here. Yeah, that immortal is being sent to its death there. Oh, what a waste. I don't know what was going on there. 
situation did tell me that this was a master's level Protoss player, but that seemed like a pretty poor mistake there. Another portal coming out, I want to send that one to a death. Oh, the tanks moving up, scan goes down, and the marines are up into the base now. Don't know that there's much galaxy to do here. Not just... Oh, nearly got one tank down without a mortal, but it's just not enough. Oh, but the stalkers are slowly picking away at these marines, and we still just... Situation too focused on his attack, not paying attention to his economy back home, and that is going to hurt him in the long run. Although, he is still ahead in the income. Ah yes, now we see he's sorted out, he's realised that this is taking longer than he anticipated, that he's lost a lot of his needs, and we do see finally a Colossus coming out and taking out the last of the Marines from the top of the ramp, but it can't get in range because he's siege tanks, he needs a way to push down there. If he had blinks he could jump down, surround those tanks, possibly take them out, but he doesn't have any way of breaking this contain, and so this Banshee is just able to push up into the base. This is just attrition now. I'm not sure what Galax can do here. He's got some stalkers to tank, some zealots to tank. He's pushing down, he wants to take out these tanks. He takes down one, he takes down two. Can he get the last tank? Yes! He has got the tank, this Banshee has gone down, he's lost his Colossus, but he's cleaned up the forces in his base. Well, he will if he can take out his last. And yet, well, Galax has held off. I thought he was done for, oh, but look at this. Now that he started actually building his base again, he started mining. Stim is on the way. Marauders are on the way. Tech labs are coming down. We're going to see upgrades soon, I'm sure, from the situation. He is taking this into the mid-game now. This early pressure hasn't worked, but I think it has put severe disadvantage put Galax at a sphere disadvantage here. The resources lost through all those exchanges were just too many. Yes, upgrades coming down all over the place for the situation now. Galax building another Colossus. He has got to be on the defensive here. He's trying to get this second Nexus back up. He's got a small force of Stalkers out there. Looks like the situation is going to take a third perhaps soon. Probably wise. He wants to be moving up into a more expensive unit composition. My, that's a lot of marines coming out. Oh dearie dearie me. Where's the button I'm looking for? There we go. 39 marines already for the situation and look just five stalkers and a colossus. I think the next time the situation pushes it's gonna spell the end for Galaxy's mining long range from his natural. He has mined out his main almost completely here, building all those stalkers and immortals that he just threw away. So, I'm not sure what he can do. He does have Thermal Lance, which will help against these Marines, but there's just too many. The Medivacs, the Marauders, the Marines. This is going to be it. I think this will be the final push. Trying to take a third now. That is ambitious to say the least, considering the number of units that he has on the field. He's going to send this observer in, he's going to see this expansion fully up and running now. Situation checking out this third here, making sure that nothing has gone on there. More marines coming out all the time, finally getting plus one weapons. And Galax probing out here, out into the open. I think this is going to be to his disadvantage. The situation got distracted, attack the rocks cut off here. A couple of marauders go down, but there's just too many marines. They're coming around the side here. Look at how many marines are getting bottlenecked up behind the force fields, but the Colossus are starting to go down. The marauders and the marines are pushing through. Stims up the ramp. There's just too many units out there for the situation. I'm not going to help, I don't think, with these reinforcements waiting up here. It's only a matter of time and the situation picks up and leaves having again done massive damage. Although he didn't come out as ahead in that exchange as he could have, but he's denied the third. Although Calix going back to take a third, but just this marine production is constant. Another command center coming down. 
going to be droned up and mining on two bases. He has mined out his main by now. And high Templars now. We did see that Twilight Council come down. So going for Psystorm, Storm. Going to try and take out these large death balls of Marines and Marauders. But I think his economy is just too far behind here. I think his unit count is just too far behind. He's about to be behind 1-1 one, one in upgrades as well. I thought the last attack was going to be it. Oh, Vikings now in the situation as well. That's not going to be good. And in full retreat. And left the game with no GG. How rude.